these marshmallows in the shape of tiny coffins. Given the source, I would not even be surprised. <laughs> Start your day with silly and safe. Start your day with sassy and sage. Sincerely, simply, seriously serial. Everyone is welcome here. Hey. Hey, you. Let's see what we're looking at today. Right. Hey, everyone. I'm Maxwell. And I'm Jennifer, one of Maxwell's moms. Welcome to Seriously Serial, episode number 467! <laughs> Thanks, Numpsters! Seriously Serial is made possible by viewers like you. And by Blue Legacy, a volunteer run nonprofit dedicated to bringing people together. You can find out more at www.seriouslyserial.org. Thanks, Spoonie! <laughs> If you eat your cereal dry, then you are a snacker, like our buddy, Bowler. Hello! Hey! Or, if you prefer your cereal with milk, then you are a spooner, like our pal, Spoonie. He's also Seriously Cereal's director. Every month we post episodes with a theme. And this month's theme is... Friends! Friends! <laughs> Thanks, Numpsters. Thank you. <laughs> and today, we will be reviewing Wednesday Cookies and Cream Cereal. Pretty good Halloween season cereal yes. choice. <laughs> All oh. right, Spoon. <laughs> Time to talk. Boo. <laughs> Wednesday. So that's, this is the daughter from the Adams family, right? Yes, this is Wednesday Adams. Mm. So when I was a little girl, I watched a show that was black and white that was called The Adams Family. Yeah. And it was like a family of all spooky people. Yes. There was even like this little critter named Thing who was like a hand who mm -hmm. ran around. And I understand he's in the new show called oh. Wednesday, which is about the daughter Wednesday mm. away at school. Fair. And Thing, the little hand that runs around, is with her. And also she has a friend named Enid, who is a blonde werewolf from California. <laughs> uh, very, very different. Uh. Wednesday's very goth and yeah, very serious. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's not that that's kind of a cool idea. So this show, I think, more focuses on your friend group as opposed mm. to, like, your family group. Oh, fair. Yeah. And, you know, one thing, you know, I laugh, but... You know, the nice thing about friends is that you can not only, like, look different, but have different interests and mm. still be the best of friends. Because, you know, having friends with different views than your own, in addition to the ones that you share, you know, it also, it just, it gives you a new perspective on things. It's, it's, it's just good to have a diverse group of friends. It makes life more interesting. Yeah. It's oh. the word of the day. I'm Sunny, and... Diverse is the word of the day. So diverse is when people are different, different in the way they look or different in the way they act or when things are different or act differently. That is really neat. I like that. Agreed. All right, though. Let's find out more about Wednesday cookies and cream cereal. All righty. So let's see. A serving size is one and a third cup. Okay. Calories are 130 calories for a mm. serving and 32 grams of carbohydrates per serving. Right. Okay. Four chameleon. Hello there, Maxwell and Jennifer. Hey, four chameleon. What's up with the added sugar? Kiddos shouldn't have more than 12 grams of added sugar each day. Grown ups can have up to 24 grams. But everyone should be careful not to eat too much sugar because it doesn't do a very good job of helping us grow and be healthy. Today's cereal has 13 grams of added sugar. Thanks, Forkamillion and Numpsters. Glad to help. 
Okay, definitely a dessert cereal. Yes, yes. If kiddos should only have 12 grams of added sugar or less mm -hmm. in a day, 13 grams per serving is definitely a dessert cereal. Yeah. Meaning, it would be totally fine to have like a serving of this as your sweet thing, yeah. your sweet treat for the day. Or just have, yeah. or just have trying. a little less than what they say the serving is. So maybe like, I don't know, uh, maybe even like one cup might do it as opposed to one Are you going to answer that? <laughs> I'm sorry. <okay. laughs> Hey, Bowler, what can you tell us about the price for the cereal? What you're reviewing today costs... $4.93! And there are... NINE! Servings! <laughs> Thanks for helping, Numsters! You're welcome! Awesome. Thanks, Bowler and Numsters. But thank you too, Spider. <laughs> So, okay, so 493 divided by 9 is 54 cents per serving. Wow. Okay. okay, so yeah. depending on where you shop, a serving of cereal on average costs between 35 and 40 cents. Yeah, that's way above average. Okay, so this cereal is quite expensive. I so. guess it's a movie tie-in, like, like show tie-in. Show tie-in, tie -in. So, yeah. yeah, okay. But I mean, it looked really unique. I mean, I don't really see that many cookies and cream cereals. So. Oh, I guess so. Yeah. I mean, I hope it's good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Spoonie, uh, time, to, time to taste, I guess. Yeah? I, I mean, I guess that's going to determine whether the price is worth it. Mmm, good point. This is a serving. Yes, as usual, this is a serving. One and, and a third as cup. As usual, we'll be putting this. This is a very, very dark cereal. Huh? It is. That I is really, really, really dark. The, uh, the source. <laughs> yes, yes. Quite gothic. Yes. And, uh, I, you know, actually, though, I will say, uh, gothic aside, uh, it also looks kind of like an Oreo cookie. Oh! The, uh, like the uh, little frosting in the center that's like the... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, so a, he... that's like the marshmallows and the, from the little cookie. Yeah, I don't know. Look, it's an Oreo cookie. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Oh, well, that's interesting. It's kind of a... It's bitter. Yeah, yes, it is. It's a like bitter cocoa taste. Oh, that's um... Yeah, it's like a Cocoa Puffs texture, but it's like a bitter cocoa taste. And it's a powerful bitter cocoa taste, too. Wow, you guys, that is... Oh. Okay, have you guys ever taken apart an Oreo cookie? and just eaten the cookie. Yeah, it tastes like that. Yeah, yeah but a, but even a little bit more bitter. Yep. So I don't know if bitter is the right word to go. It's Honestly, not really I'd say, tangy. It's, I'd say bitter is the right word. Is it? Yeah. It's. Oh, I almost want to say it's almost like a metallic taste. Yeah, it's almost like a, the grown-ups out there will get, will get this one, but it kind of tastes like coffee. Like it has a similar like, bitterness to coffee. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. So even if I eat two of the round pieces of cereal, the chocolate cereal, or the cookies cereal, yeah. with one marshmallow, that ratio, I don't taste the marshmallow at all. I do feel that little chalkiness of the cereal marshmallow, yeah. but Yeah, I'm, the, actually, I'm not gonna eat any of this at all. There's not actually that many marshmallows. Mostly just like yes. only cookies, not much free. <laughs> yeah, it, it, there are not as many marshmallows. Um, that is, okay, so I'm gonna try just like a little, a little handful of just the cookie bits. And what I will say is, we do say cookie bits, there definitely is something on them because I can see mm, the little mm -hmm. particles in the milk. Mm. The milk is very dark, by the way. Very chocolatey yeah. milk. I'm sorry I can't show you guys, but yeah, it's, it is pretty dark. Okay, but yeah. not, if, here's the if, weird thing. Not if you can't see this in my spoon, then you are seeing how dark it is. Because <laughs> it's about as dark as the actual spoon is. <laughs> It's, it is as dark as chocolate milk that you would buy in the store. Yeah. Now, this is gonna sound a little weird, but it's bitter, but not really in a bad way. Yeah, no, no, no. Like, I I actually will occasionally like just a, what they call a black cup of coffee. Sure. That means there's no creamer in it. Yeah. Sometimes even no sweetener, that would mean. And I think you're absolutely right, Max. I think if someone told me this was coffee cereal, yeah. I might even believe it. Because it, it, it kind of reminds me of a Dunkin' Donut cereal, actually. Do you remember that? Yes, I yeah. do. Yeah, it's um, it's kind of earthy. Yeah. It's a little bit 
sharp. Yeah. Um, it's very interesting. And it, you do mm. get a little bit of cocoa, but I think the bitterness definitely comes through first and foremost. It, I mean, it really um, it reaffirms like how I personally think that cocoa tastes a little bit bitter. Because are these marshmallows get... in the shape of tiny coffins? They might be ghosts. Mm. I've seen a ghost in that shape, but uh, you know what? Given the source, I would not even be surprised. <laughs> Here, Max, yeah. try try it in a cookie shape. You know, I will say, it's probably saying something that you can tell it's powder because even as a spooner, I have a little bit on my finger. <laughs> mm. But yeah, I'll be good. Right. There's a little powder in the bowl, but I will say as a snacker, mm. it isn't really coming across as particularly sticky. And, and that is nice. And it's a nice size and shape. You know, I say that the milk definitely brings out the flavor of mm. the chocolate. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it definitely, even dry, I definitely say it is more it is more bitter than your average chocolate cereal. Yeah, and we keep calling it chocolate, you guys, even though it's cookies and cream, because yeah. there was actually real cocoa yes. in the ingredients. Yeah. And when I think cookies and cream, it usually is like Oreo cookie. I mean, I know it's like golden Oreos, and that's mm -hmm. actually pretty good, but I think that's what most people think, like the chocolate and like then like the, like the frosting type. Yeah. Yeah. Um, ooh, man, this it is, a... is very reminiscent. It reminds me a lot of Oreos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But not as sweet, even with the marshmallows. You'd have to have a lot more marshmallows to really call it an Oreo cereal, I think. But it's very interesting. But I think for the price, I think I'm going to need a little bit more time to think about this one. You know what surprises me about this one also? Yeah. Wasn't this one 13 grams of added sugar per serving? Yeah. And yet it does not come across as sweet. Yeah, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely need to think about this one because I really want to be fair. I know I can't give it a five because I just don't like cereal marshmallows, you guys. And I always want to be consistent and stay true to me as a snacker. You know, I think I know what we can do in the meantime. What? Time for... using cereal boxes, paper tubes, and tissue boxes? This is the day we begin! Wow. Are you excited? We're excited! Let's dive right in! It looks like we have everything we need. One cereal box, just an average size, a pair of scissors, meow! I like safety scissors, a ruler, pen. I like to use a sharpie, a permanent marker, because it will draw even on a glossy cereal box. You might want to ask a grown-up to help you use a permanent marker, because if it accidentally gets on something else, it won't wash out. We have our nifty craft mat. You can get your own craft mat at seriouslycereal.org. It's 11 by 17, so it might need to be printed at a print shop. Let's begin! Today, we're going to turn this cereal box into a little house. Won't that be fun? <laughs> First, let's measure the box. Hmm, it looks like the box is 11 inches. Half of 11 is five and a half. We want to cut the box in half. Five and a half is right here. Meow! Let's start cutting. I wonder if my safety scissors will be able to cut through a box. Let's try. Mm. Mm. If it's too hard for you to cut, maybe ask a grown-up with a bigger pair of scissors or a utility knife to help you. Mm. Mm. There we go. It worked. I'm going to cut the box all the way in half. If you're nervous about making sure your cut is just right, you can draw the line all the way around if you want. Hey, we lined up pretty well. Right, Spider? <laughs> This 
is going to be the bottom of our little house. And this is going to be the roof. Let's put the bottom of the little house aside for a moment. And let's work on the roof. Cereal boxes are actually glued together on the side, right here. Let's peel it apart. Look at all this great crafting cardboard. Thin cardboard like this, like a cereal box is made of, is great for making crafts. Do you see the two biggest sections? Let's cut those out and cut off the extras now. Safety scissors! <laughs> Sorry, Spider. <laughs> this is getting crazy. <laughs> Meow! Look, here's one of our pieces already. Yay! Let's keep going. Now, we have these two nice big pieces to make a roof. Oh, guess what? I totally forgot one of the things we need. Tape. <laughs> Turn over the big roof pieces and press them together like this. Now, take some tape. Do you see how we're taping on the colorful side? That's because I want to hide the colorful side. Because I want my roof to just be brown. Look, it's a little roof. <laughs> now, let's put our little roof to the side and get our bottom of our little house. Ta-da! Whoop! Look at that! Let's cut a little door and hmm, some windows. Okay, but how big should they be? I know! Ta -da! Look, it's the Maxwell Seriously Serial figure. That would be the perfect size. Let's measure him. Oh, he's almost two inches. He's about one and three-fourths of an inch. So let's make our door two inches tall, about up to this part of the box. Perfect. Shall we draw the little door first so that we understand where we're cutting? We're going to cut like an L. I'm going to draw a little doorknob. <laughs> Meow! Safety scissors! Now we'll open the little door and fold it. Get that little crease in there. Perfect. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Our little Maxwell can go in the door. I love that. But what about a window? Hmm. That's a good idea, Spider. To cut a window here, we could ask a grown-up to use a utility knife or a hole punch. Ah. <laughs> Something else we can use. Let's see. Hmm. I punched a little hole in the box. I punched another little hole in the box. Do you know why? Watch. This is such a cool trick. I'm going to draw a little circle. Just like the circular window on Seriously Serial. The circle is connected to the little dot. Now I'm going to draw a little square connected to the dot. A lot of windows are square or rectangular. I bet you you know what comes next. Safety scissors! Let's cut out our windows. I put the tip of the safety scissors into the little dot that I hole punched. It works great! There we have it! 
Now let's do the square. Remember, if your safety scissors can't cut through the cardboard box of a cereal box, that's okay. Ask a grown-up to use bigger scissors and help you. Or ask a grown-up to use a utility knife. Sometimes safety scissors just aren't strong enough to go through cardboard. I think we're lucky that ours do. Hey, look at that! Two little windows. One is circular and one is a square or a rectangle. You can go in the little house, Maxwell. And look, he's peeking through the window. He's peeking through the other window. <laughs> but we still have to put our roof on. How? Well, here's our roof. Oh, that's really cute. This is how we attach the roof. Going to use tape. <laughs> I'm going to put the tape on the box. One, two. Two pieces of tape. I'll fold the tape this way. Come here, little pieces of tape. Now, I'll put my roof on. I'm pressing the tape right onto the roof. Ta-da! Now we just have to attach the other side. <laughs> my roof is very slanty right now. piece of tape was too small. It just attached to the box. I need another piece that is long. It's okay if you make a mistake sometimes. Just keep going. There we go. That piece is just long enough. We fold them back and flip our little roof. And then I press the tape against the roof. Oh my goodness, our little house is done. It has a little roof, a door, and two windows. If you want, you could paint your little house. That would be so fun. Or just keep it colorful with cereal. <laughs> this is great. There you have it, everyone. Wow, a wonderful little house made from a cereal box. You can paint it, decorate it, put stickers on it, or leave it just how it is. But most of all, you can play with it. It's so fun to recycle and reuse. Don't forget to put away all your crafting materials and clean up after yourself. I'm gonna put all my craft materials into my craft chest. The next time you see me and Spider, I'm gonna show you a magic trick. See you guys soon. Bye. Okay. I'm feeling refreshed and I think I'm about ready to wrap this up. <laughs> well, the scores were tricky. They're tricky sometimes. It's not always easy to find the right score. Oh, <laughs> fan mail. <laughs> thank you, Numsters. Thanks. And thank you. We love hearing from you. We really do. All right. Let's see what you've sent in today. Fan mail. All right. So this letter is to Crafty Cat and Spider. Oh, they just did a craft segment. Fine. Yeah. We'll make sure that they get this before they head out for the day. And this is from Betty N. Through the mailbox on the website. And Betty writes, Hello, Crafty and Spider. My name is Betty Newman, but most people know me as Mrs. Betty. I teach first grade, and I wanted you to know that I've really enjoyed using your craft sheets with my students. You make it so easy with no sign-in or payment. Our all-time favorite is the little house craft. It's so versatile, and the kids can customize it. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, second. Betty. Oh! <laughs> oh, surprise me. This is the one, Betty. 
Yes. So you guys, this is one of the craft sheets that's at seriouslycereal.org, and they are. They're all free downloads. You don't have to sign in. There's nothing fancy. You don't get added to a mailing list. No. You don't have to look at an ad or anything like that. Yeah. Click the big green icon with a mailbox on it. Oh, if you want to send us a message. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. But there's also a button where you can get the craft sheets, and it will yes. say oh, right on yeah, yeah, craft yeah, yeah, sheets. Yeah. yeah. That is so cool. Yeah. I am so glad that we are helping make your classroom experience a little bit easier, Betty. Yeah. That means a ton to us. Um, Maxwell and his sister Faith were both homeschooled, and I have to tell you that was one of the biggest problems that we always ran into, was we were constantly trying to find activities, and they yeah. were expensive, or like you say, they required a, um, a payment or a sign-in and watching a bunch of ads, <laughs> and, and you know we didn't even know if we would like it or not yet. What we really like about the Seriously Serial craft sheets is that you guys can see us use them on the show, you can see how they turn out, and then you can go and download the ones that appeal to you. And I think that's really fun, especially with the little house. I can definitely see how you're saying it's so customizable because it can be colored. You can color it with pens, pencils, you can cover it with stickers, you can make it a, a little restaurant, you can make it like, it doesn't have to be a little house, it could be a building of any kind, really. And it's so simple, you just cut it out with regular scissors and tape it or paste it together with glue. So I actually really love this little craft yeah. sheet too. I hope you enjoyed the uh, craft, that crafty cat, or crafty as you call her, that crafty made today, uh, Betty. I think that was a really cool craft. A lot of people have been asking about like cereal box craft or like, yeah. uh, what was the other word, like paper towel roll craft? Yes, exactly. For like things that normally we might just recycle, yeah. is it possible to maybe reuse them a little bit first, yeah. play with them until they're falling apart, yeah. and then, woo! Ooh. Tubes, yeah. cereal boxes, tissue boxes, paper towel tubes, yeah. all that kind of stuff can be made into a lot of really fun crafts. Yeah. Oh, Woo. oh, <laughs> appropriate. <laughs> Spooky boxes. Yes. So, hey, Don. Booberry with Frightful Friends marshmallows. Do I sense another little bites coming up here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that Boo Bay had a kitty friend. <laughs> Just like Crafty. I'm totally calling her Crafty now, Betty. <laughs> we love that. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> so yes, absolutely, you guys, at Betty's recommendation, yeah. go and download the Little House craft set and make it your own. Yeah. I We tried to make it so that the little Maxwell figure, let me get him for you guys. He's right Crafty there. showed you guys this little figure as yes. well. Crafty made a house out of a cereal box. Boop. Look at that little guy. It's about the right height. And that's what and that's what we are hoping to do with all our crafts. Make it kind of like work with this little figurine or any other figurine of that type that you might have. Yeah. So if you guys have like Legos yeah. or Mega Blocks yeah. or any of that brand of little mini figures. They, that's usually what we try to size all of our crafts for. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for writing in, Betty. And if you guys would like to send in a message or a comment or a question, yeah. please don't hesitate. You know, we love to answer your questions. We love to hear from you guys. We love to hear your comments. We get great ideas from your messages. Yeah. Just go on over to seriouslycereal.org and click or tap the mailbox button, not yes. the contact no. link. That's for the, the, yeah. the big parent company. Yeah. yeah. So click that mailbox button or tap that mailbox button and send us a message. Yeah. All right, Spooty, it's time to score. Thanks for watching, everyone. Did you know that everyone here at Seriously Serial is a volunteer? We are. And you can support the show over at seriouslycereal.org. Because Seriously Serial is safe for kids, YouTube turns off comments when we post episodes online. But we love hearing from you. Go to seriouslycereal.org and use the mailbox button to send us a message. We might read it in a future episode. Find new episodes of Seriously Serial every Saturday morning on YouTube, on public access television, and at seriouslycereal.org. See you next time. Bye.